are sad and in shock. Residents in one central El Paso neighborhood are upset and confused after two people were shot, one woman dying at the scene. The shooting happened last night at around 730 on the 3000 block of Copper near Memorial Park. And that's where we find ABC 7's Brianna Chavez, who spoke to some of the neighbors in the area. And Brianna, this isn't the first time that something has happened at this home. Well, JC and Kate neighbors told me that the shooting happened at the house right behind me. You can't make it out because of how dark it is. But our crews were here two years ago after an attempted burglary at the same house and the suspect ended up dying. He broke in through the house, break breaking the glass, ended up cutting himself and lost too much blood. But other than that, neighbors on the street say that this is a great place to live. One neighbor that I spoke to says that he knew the victims and neighbors on the street knew the victims very well. And tonight is a very very sad night for the entire neighborhood. There, there had been at least 20 emergency vehicles out here, at least, and then the SWAT van. A chaotic scene Saturday night. Residents near Memorial Park still shaken up after a shooting that left one woman dead and another man injured. Officers from the Central Regional Command Center responded to the 3000 block of copper in reference to a shooting at approximately 7.35. Police say the woman was found dead inside the home while the other victim, a 47-year-old man, was taken to a local hospital. Ruben Robles, who lives a few houses down, says he did not hear any gunshots go off. We first knew about this when we saw red lights uh, flashing on it, 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 and we came out to see what was going on. And our neighbor next to us uh, was out front and the, and the ambulance was there and they were, they were putting somebody on the stretcher and taking him down the stairs into the ambulance. Now a neighbor that I spoke to says that according to another neighbor who helped one of the victims says that the man from the house made his way outside and made his way across the street to ask for help and you can still see some of the blood stains on the sidewalk from Saturday night. It's an old fashioned neighborhood and I don't know if it was personal or it was random so there's no reason for me to, to get too worried about it. Uh, we're more upset, uh, we're more uh, sad about, about this. Uh, those people are very, very nice people, uh, good neighbors, uh, very decent people, uh, as, as all our neighbors are, uh, but it's a sad day. And as police post, a police spokesman told me tonight that still no arrests have been made. Now, the neighbor that you just heard from says that the victims who were living in the home were husband and wife. Unfortunately, we have not been able to confirm that with police. We're still waiting on the identities of the victims. So once we get all of that information, we'll be sure to let you know on air and online at KVI8.com. Live in Central El Paso, Brianna Chavez, ABC7.